Good morning, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. Bitch, I hope you're having a fabulous day, honey. I literally been working, spilling tea since this morning, honey. I've been up since like 6.50, editing, posting, girl. Listen, listen, when I tell you I give you the latest tea, I mean it, honey. I haven't even had my tea yet, bitch, and I'm already hydrating you. Listen, girl. I want you to grab a snack and a drink. If you are new, my name is Sebastian. I spill pop culture tea every single day. And I always give you the latest what is going on in the pop culture world, honey. So if you are looking for a new messy best friend who's gonna spill all the tea, honey, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be so grateful. You guys, we gotta talk because um, a lot is happening today. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of videos today. So make sure to stay tuned, refresh that YouTube page because I'm gonna be sitting here spilling the tea, honey. Um, okay, so listen, if you guys have not watched this video I just posted, um, Selena Gomez spoke out, you know, about Hailey Bieber drama. And, you know, she was like, you know, it's not nice. Like, you know, you have to be nicer. The death threats that allegedly Hailey Bieber's receiving, all of these things, right? So this was about five hours ago. It is now 8.50, right? Um, and she immediately went and followed Hailey Bieber, right? Now, yes, Selena Gomez is in New York filming Only Murders in the Building, right? So there is a three hour time difference, right? But I'm gonna tell you why I'm not taking that into consideration in a second, okay? So listen, it is now uh, 8.50 and Hailey Bieber is still not following Selena Gomez, okay? She is still not following Selena Gomez. I'm pretty sure by the time I post this or something, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. So, uh, Hailey Bieber is gonna be called out so much and she's already being called out for not following Selena Gomez. So she's gonna run and start following Selena. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't I don't believe it's time different shit. All of these things, you guys, they are PR moves. All of the statements, all of any any kind of move that they do, it's already planned, you guys. When Haley probably reached out to Selena, Selena's team prepared, you know, or you know, helped prepare a statement, right? Because Obviously, Selena has what it takes to speak and to say what's right, but when you have something that is being so heavily watched, the team usually does get involved, which is a good thing, right? Um, having said that, you know, Haley's team and Selena's team probably spoke and said, okay, Selena's gonna post this on her Instagram stories. It's gonna go up at this time, and she is gonna be following Haley uh, at this time. You know, so that's how, and that's how PR works, you guys, if you don't know. Everything is planned, especially when you are the most followed woman in the fucking world, okay? You want to make sure that everything is good. You know, usually in, in social media, they send, you know, when, when somebody wants to post something, they usually send it to like three people on their team to make sure everything is good, right? Because nowadays you really have to be careful what you write, right? Well, Hailey Bieber was not following Selena Gomez for the longest time. She still is not following Selena Gomez. And I have to say that that just shows a huge pettiness. It just goes to show that Hailey Bieber is just not, it's just, there's just a, a disconnect there. You know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't um, take, uh, you know, a, a very intelligent person to understand that what Selena Gomez did was something she did not have to do. She does not have to clean up anybody else's messes, okay? Because in my opinion, all right, in my opinion that I am allowed to have, bitch, okay, Selena Gomez was the victim here and has been the victim of mockery, of bullying, and of just plain nastiness. And then she has to go and clean up other people's nastiness and messiness. That's not right, bitch. That's not the, how the calculations of the world work, bitch. Because if two plus two is four and five plus five is 10, what the fuck is this? So Haley Bieber runs to Selena Gomez and says, Hey, Selena, listen, I'm getting death threats. Like, this is really scary. Yeah, it is. And I don't agree and I don't condone that because nobody's life should be threatened. But two days ago, she was at SZA's concert dancing her ass off trying to be shady to Selena, in my opinion, okay, singing that Kill Bill song. Where was her scared things then? Where was her frightened things then? Because this has been going on for almost a month now. And I'm pretty sure she has been receiving those things. So she's being called out for not following Selena. She's being called out for going to the SZA concert, acting like nothing is going on. And she's being just basically called out for continuing to be petty. 
I'll tell you something. Selena Gomez has definitely chosen the high road, and she really has. But at some point, you know what, Selena? You have to stop uh, fixing other people's messes. You got to let them understand that their actions, their words, their behaviors, their shadiness has consequences. And this was a consequence. Again, I do not condone anybody's life being threatened because that is fucked up, all right? But I do agree that she had to be called out because the mockery, the, the shadiness, in my opinion, the meanness has to stop. And Selena Gomez once again has to clean up the mess. Uh, uh, that they have created for her. Do you know what I mean? So honestly, look, in this moment, Justin Bieber hasn't even defended his wife, bitch, okay? And I also feel like uh, Hailey Bieber not following her really goes to show what type of person she is. Now, what do I think is gonna happen? Listen, I think my chair is still fat shaming me and I have to put some oil on it. But besides that, I really do think that the neck, the, the, this is gonna happen, okay? I'm having a That's So Raven moment, bitch. I'm having a fucking vision, okay? I think Hailey Bieber is gonna run to, you know, follow Selena Gomez, obviously, because she's obviously being called out for that. And I really do feel like she's gonna say something. If she is smart, she'll say something. But you know what fucking pisses me off the most, bitch, is that Selena had to say something first. Why the fuck does Selena have to say something first? How come Haley doesn't have to say something first? How come fucking Lips Jenner doesn't have to say something first? That's fucked up, bitch. I'm so sorry, that's fucked up. You're gonna tell me that you're out here bullying me, in my opinion, my Sebastian opinion, that is what happened. You are shading me, you are mockering me, you are, you are, you are just not being so nice, and I I have to defend you? Girl, listen, I'm all types of petty. I am, uh, compared to fucking uh, Selena Gomez, I'm horrible because I wouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Now listen, the threatening of people's lives, that that is just plain wrong. Nobody deserves that, absolutely nobody. But you know what? I feel like Hailey Bieber just does not understand what taking the high road and being the bigger person looks like. But you know what it looks like, Miss Hailey Bieber? This is what it looks like. Sebastian, please put a picture of Selena Gomez to prove my point, okay? So future Sebastian, I beg you, please, because this would be such a cool moment, okay? Um, this is what taking the high road looks like. Maybe put the picture of the wedding dress, girl. Yes. Yes, I talk to my future self like this, bitch. Um, but you know, it just annoys me. It, it really does annoy me. But you know, at the end of the day, it just goes to show what type of person Selena Gomez is and what type of person wrote and lips are. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Like I said, I'm pretty sure things are gonna change, you know, minute by minute. So definitely keep on coming on, keep on refreshing. Um, I'm so grateful for you guys. Also make sure to hit that follow button. Um, please make sure to, uh, Please make sure to know how grateful I am. Please know that I am truly grateful and thankful for all of your love and support. I want you to have a fabulous day. I want you to eat that dessert. I want you to drink that drink. I want you to have fun today. You deserve it. I want you to treat yourself good. And don't forget how much I'm grateful for you, how thankful I am. Make sure to also hit that um, follow button on my TikTok. Uh, it's Sebastian Soto T. Um, and that's it. Stay tuned because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of tea. Now, I'm going to drink my tea, bitch. Oh, by the way, I, I said this in my previous video, but I don't know if you guys watch all my videos. Um, this, I drink this every morning. Girl, not my dog's hair. I drink this every morning. This is uh, green tea, apple cider vinegar, and lemon juice. Every single morning on an empty stomach, I drink this. Mm. It tastes like... It doesn't taste like shit. Let me stop. Yeah, it does, bitch. It does. But you know what? It's really good for you, bitch. So anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, should we just down this? I'm going to down this with you. Okay, ready? One, two. Hold my hand, bitch. Hold my hand. Ugh. Okay, one, two, three, go. Mm. Mm. I got, I got this. Okay, one more time. Uh, how come I can down five shots of tequila, one after the other, and I can't down something that's actually good for me? Okay, one, two, three, go, and done. Oh, anyways. Uh. I gotta go, bitch. I love you so much. Bye-bye.